government is going to have a brand new agency dedicated to UFOs this year, thanks to an amendment in the National Defense Authorization Act for 2022, which was recently signed into law. And NASA just launched the James Webb Space Telescope, which promises to show us pictures of the time when all of existence began in the universe, and perhaps where more life might be hiding. In fact, evidence is mounting all over the place right now that proves we are getting closer than ever to our chance to get a good look at the flying saucers, and perhaps more importantly, a chance to look inside and see who's behind that wheel. If that's something you've never thought about, well, maybe now's a good time. So, is it going to be one of those aliens with the big oval head and the big oval eyes? The ones that are all spindly and they're either gray or green? The grays, you know the ones I mean. Is one of those going to be driving the UFO? Or will it be something even crazier, like one of those aliens hanging out in the Star Wars bar? Something with tentacle mouths, or exposed brains, or a big furry thing with different kinds of eyes. Or maybe it looks like a weird dolphin, or a monkey, or a pig. What if a weird pig is what's driving the UFO? How crazy would that be? Or maybe, even crazier, what if it looks like one of us? Now, I don't mean just someone from another country that has reached superior technological and scientific intelligence, no. I mean someone from another place way beyond Earth or someone from another time, perhaps even. Someone that looks like a human, but is not. Maybe their eyes are a little bigger and can see different things than us, something like that, but still, essentially, very much like us. Wouldn't that be crazy if that's what's behind the wheel? Well, not according to some scientists, actually. In fact, they say it's the opposite. They actually take the view that's known as convergent evolution, which posits, Random effects eventually average out so that evolution converges, tending to produce similar organisms in any given environment, as Science Focus puts it. So in other words, even though it seems crazy that life on one side of the universe would evolve to look like life on another side of the universe that evolves the same kind of way, and all this randomness is going on and all this time is going on, and that averages out and all of a sudden, yeah, an alien across the universe could indeed essentially look like a human. Maybe even exactly the same. Anyway, 